Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love tarot reading session for you Taurus. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today is for the Taurus friends out there. What can I get for Taurus please? What is the love message for you? Okay, What is the weekly love message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is a weekly reading for you for the month of August 2021. This is applicable for singles, couples, in a relationship, dating, or getting to know. This is for the sign of Taurus. And your card is all over. So in today's reading, all right, we will quickly look at the recent past. We'll, we'll pick up the blockages, the delay. And then we will be moving along with the, um, the current energies. And then we will be looking at the immediate future, predictive outcome and advice. And depending on the message for today, I will let you know. You're nervous. <laughs> What's wrong, Taurus? Are you nervous? Depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading. But as you can see, as I shuffle the card, it's just, you know, jumping in and out. Um, are you nervous? This is for Taurus. What's the message for Taurus, please? What can I get for Taurus? Weekly love message for Taurus. Weekly love message for Taurus. Month of August. Weekly energy for the month of August 2021. Okay. I will put it here to clarify. So, um, I'm not reading reversals. Um, I'm closing. Normally, before and after new moon, I try not to read reversals um, with cards that is... Um, not um, a rider weight so I am putting the cards in upright position all right okay let's start your reading let's get your overall energy for today Taurus one card six of swords you're moving on you're tiptoeing you know you're slowly deciding am I ready you know, like in here, you're slowly jumping from one finger to another. It could be, I see you, you're looking into sending a message, replying, calling, following up, but you are slowly doing something. And it's about moving on. You don't want to make a mistake because if you make, look at that. If you make a mistake, there's three sharp crystal in here and it's green. So... I feel like there's something in your energy where you're 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 like perfecting something. You want to do it, but you want to make it perfect. You want the right moment, the right timing. You don't want to make a mistake because you don't want to redo it. Because if you redo it, it's a waste of time. So you're practically being perfect. Whether you're waiting, you're calling, you're texting, replying, or manifesting, but you are for perfection. I also get here that you know, it's not just about moving on, but it's... Because Six of Swords is the card of... Six, vo six of Voices or Six of Swords is the card of... I'm moving on. Like, if I exit, I need to make it perfect. Perfect in the sense that you have to do it all. If it doesn't work, I'll exit. At least I've done everything. If I look back, I've, I've done everything. The manifestation, the waiting, the forgiving, you know. You are practical... And um, sentimental as well. Like there's the person, the situation has value to you. Huge value. So you're not just walking away because of impulsive. It's you're tiptoeing, you know. And you're even saying goodbye. Like you're closing off the chapter of your life properly. Okay. So that's the overall vibe. Let's look at the specific um, details in here. In the recent past, in the recent past, you've got the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. You're on to something, you know. The connection, the relationship, the situation in the recent past. It's, it's like all out. Like something is moving. Something has taken into turn in the past. Ace of Wands, it could be you met someone new or you're dating you're dating, you're connecting with someone in the past and it feels brand new. But whatever this is, eight of wands, ace of wands, this is action path. It is, it's passionate, it's moving. Now, yes, you do have passion towards this person and interest. And I'm, I'm also getting like vice versa. There's a lot of excitement. 
when you connect to this person, when they reply to you, when you respond, there's a lot of excitement that you feel towards each other. Okay, whether you're get, you're dating or getting to know, um, seem to be excitement, Mister Excitement. However, you've got the Eight of Swords. This is the block. Okay, the block is that it stopped. So you are in a passionate, progressive, um, moving. You know, it's moving. There's an update. However, it stopped. Okay. Um, Interest-based for some of you. Um, it went to a halt. It stopped. It, it got stuck for some of you. So the situation in the past is something was moving so quickly, so passionately. But it was interrupted. It got stuck. And in, in the overall overall energy right now, Taurus, is you've got the Six of Swords. Like, you've somehow consulted your mind over your heart that before I walk away, I want to make sure something. So in here, it seems to be you're giving it a second look, a second chance. But if it doesn't work, you're carefree. Like, you're going to walk away. I mean, there's no reason to say. Yeah. So observing, waiting, looking, and practically... Um, like, I'm, I'm getting a lot of, you're very precise and perfect. Like, this should be the, the reason should be strong. If I'm going to come back or I'm going to exit, the reason should be valid and strong and solid. Okay? So, you're ready to walk away. Uh, but it should be, it, it should not come from impulses. It should come from a solid understanding. If you're going to st stay and manifest, you should also have a solid understanding of why you're staying or manifesting okay it's it's a, yeah it is as if you know in in the current energy to absorbs still unknown like undecided unknown so i feel like you're giving your patient towards the person because you love the person or you like the person you have feelings for them knight of cups you know when you love someone you have to give it all when you give it all, that includes forgiveness, closure, or waiting, you know. I feel like you're not leaving things or cup unturned. Like, you will open all of the cup. You want to make sure that you've tried everything in here. You're very tired, but because there was something passionate in here, you're giving it a second chance, you're giving it a second look, you're giving it one last look. Like a final step away, but wait, you know, something like that. Because just this card, you don't want to look don't want to look back and say had i done this blah 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 you don't want you don't want to have regrets okay you don't want regrets so you are patient like you're on the verge of exiting but you're really looking on to a solid reason to exit or not to wait or if you wait there must be something justifiable reason to wait you know i mean love in that if you love the person that's that's one reason but there's more okay so you you are sitting in an energy i know my reason okay the person that you're dealing with you're waiting for their input you know you want to justify your love your feelings so even though there is a little bit of gap or maybe there was a gap because this is undecided some things in the current energy is still undecided so i feel I feel like you've studied things like it might be complicated for some of you but you study it well i'm seeing you and feeling you you have looked at the things that took place between the two of you you process the thoughts and if you and if you're waiting because you've got a solid reason and if you're about to exit you also have a solid reason you have put your time you've set aside enough time to honor your feelings, to validate your love towards this person. And if it doesn't work, I don't see you being desperate. I see you completely giving up as equal to your person, you know? So that's it. That's a, it's, it's brave. And you have the courage to do that, you know? I strong-headed, but not desperate, okay? So in the current energy... I mean, two of swords, like in the name of love, I shall give you time to think. In the name of love, I shall allocate time to wait, you know. Um, Justice card, Knight of Cups, you know, this is like when you love someone, you've got to be patient. But, you know, 
there's a limit in the patient in the waiting in the forgiving you know two of swords you can't you cannot always you know bend forward to make it happen like you can't always be as kind as understanding as flexible as you are you you got to have some rule and limitation and i think you are aware of that um let's see the justice card in the current energy because i feel like there's love there's feeling the connecting energy between you and your person is there is love and there's still feelings and that's the reason why you and your person could not get over each other because there's love and there's feeling and it's strong passion and love and also eight of swords there's something if you look at your cards this is passionate and in the current energy love is you know love is still alive but there is this gap you know eight of swords is something black out Something that happened between you and your person that it blacked out, like it went to zero. The love, the feelings, the passion that you have with one another, it was 100%. And then it turned black out. It went to zero. That is why you're trying to revive it. You know, like you're trying to get up, like to put it back in its right frequency, you know. And it's hard because the blackout, it didn't turn like the blackout, the gap between you and your person, it's not you know, 100, it dropped to 60. It dropped from 100, it dropped to zero. So that gap is huge for you to cover up and your person to work things out, you know, over time. So this is where you're, because of the gap, you've lost something, you know, like this, like a black hole. There's a gap between you and your person that it's so hard to, you cannot replay it anymore. Whatever took place in the blackout, like you break up, whatever took place between now and your breakup, between in the middle of you, you and a relationship and then you break up and in the now, that's something that you cannot replace. That is a gap that cannot be fixed. It can only be replaced by new memories, okay? And this is what you are, um, you're working on is that I cannot continue because of the black blackout, but we can start all over again, okay? I think you're wanting to hear that from your person. And you want to feel and hear their solidness. Because, you know, Five of Cups in the immediate future, you don't want to be alone. The star card, you know, losing your person will make you sad. That's why you've got full of hope that in this emptiness, in this darkness, there is still one meaning one you know because the last card in the immediate future is you've got the page of pentacles it means that if your person give you one reason you'll turn your back and you know run away from your run towards your person like it's your person is your person your person is the love of your life your person is your dream person and even though this person gives you a million reason to say goodbye but with one reason to stay and it's solid, you will stay. Okay, so you've got your limits, but you also have this one specific, um, you know, you have defined that if my person says this, like you, you kind of ask for a sign. Because in here, you know, it's in process, you know, two of swords, I love you, I miss you, but what's next? What's going on? You know, pending, processing. In the immediate future, you've got five of cups. Maybe there's still some indifference between you and up until the end of August. And that's fine. That's fine. You're hoping. You're manifesting. I don't think you're just surrendering. I don't think your person is surrendering as well. You know, it's like you're still intact together, manifestation and energy. You know, it's, it's a matter of time, you know, to, to cover or to replace the blackout between you and your person. Yeah, you and your person is working on rebuilding the emotional inactivity. You and your person had some inactive. And that inactive part is where you and your person is working on. The inactive part. So every small, even though it's baby step, even though it's small win, it's still a win. And if you sum up all of the small win... It could make up with the big victory. So I'm seeing you honestly being so patient. And I'm seeing you, you're waiting for your person to give you a sign. Sign, seal, deliver. You're, you're so... 
like what is that song i think i've mentioned that to you you know that song with lady gaga you give me a million reason to stay like you gave me like the, the song is about the person gave lady gaga a lot of reason to say goodbye but with one reason to stay she will come back so that's the vibe i'm getting in here um okay let's see yeah with one you know you would look back with one text or call and if it's solid if your person gives you something solid a solid lead even though it's small but it's solid you will turn your back you know you will turn your back like you would go back to your person okay you won't hesitate to go back they just really need to say it to you okay like if this person say Taurus, stay wait for me and you will will you'll you just want the person to say it with you say it loud and proud loud and clear yeah Good luck, Taurus. May you have the patience to wait. The courage to, you know, the courage to survive. Whether it is going, moving, or staying. You know, not all of the signs are like you. You're, most, you're the most resilient. So congratulations to you. Whatever this is, it's a win. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.